Hello everybody and welcome to Campers in RV in Merrimack, New Hampshire. And my name is Uncle Bernie and I'm here today with the 2016 Allegro Red 33AA. It's a rear engine diesel with a Cummings 360 horsepower, 800 pound feet of torque with Allison 3000 transmission, which means that you can tow 10,000 pounds with this coach. It has four slides, and I'm doing the outside now, so it uh, still needs to thaw out a little bit. But if you look up top, you're going to see the edges of four solar panels. Well, there's four more on the other side. So we have eight solar panels. We have six lithium 100 amp hour batteries on the other side. I'm going to take you to a little bit later on. Behind this door number one, we have... We have a TV out there, and as you can see, you got wonderful pass-through storage. Now, if someone was a little bit, you know, uh, handy or they wanted to hire us to do so, you could add a slide tray uh, going either way on this side. Just make sure you measure it and account for the central vac and the battery controllers on the other side. Here we're on the passenger side, easy access to the propane tank. We can get at it real easily. And also your hydraulics. So the hydraulics are gonna not only operate the four jacks, but it's all gonna also gonna operate the two front slides as well. You can get fuel on both sides on this lovely Freightliner chassis with the V-Ride that I spoke to you about a little bit earlier today. And you asked me about tires. Well, the, the tire, uh, Date codes are on the inside, and I haven't crawled up underneath there enough yet, but if I grab these tires and I take a good close look, you're gonna find, and let me see if I can get a little bit better lighting, it's actually, these tires are real close to new. So they might only have a few thousand miles on them. We're just doing the outside for now. I don't see any big dings or dents or scratches. There might be a couple little nicks in the front here. This is the, the diamond shield seems to be still in contact, but you can tell where they waxed and they left a little bit of wax line on the edge of the diamond shield. But that's the worst thing that's too. It's a little bit dirty. And of course it's gonna get cleaned inside and out before we sell it to you. Um, and they'll do that final cleaning down in Sewell, New Jersey for you. Over here is that front compartment. It does come equipped with an 8,000 watt Onan Cummings diesel generator. And then over here we have, again, more fuel over here. And you can see that BASF paint going all the way down and it's still fully shiny. And these are those lithium batteries I was telling you about. So yeah, there's six of these 100 amp hour batteries and they come on a nice slide tray. So real easy to handle back here. I'm gonna shut the battery disconnect off. I'm gonna come by and do this videotaping with it open. And if you look over here to the right, you can see you have central vac control in there. And on this side, you have all of the solar controllers back there. So whoever put this in really knew what they were doing and set this coach up properly. So it was done by an electrician and they did a wonderful job of getting all that solar. Now here's an easy to operate water station that comes with this 33AA. You have inline water filter, your low point drains, your water pump. You can winterize from here. You can drain all your, your holding tanks and you can uh, dump and drain and flush your black tank and gray tanks right from here. And it's just reaching right in. You don't have to bend over. Everything is where you want it. As we get a little bit further towards the back, you have your DEF tank. And uh, if you don't know what that is, we'll talk about it tomorrow when we chat. And this is where you're gonna keep your 50 amp cable and then your automatic crossover transfer switch. So when you turn your generator on and you're plugged in, you forgot to unplug, um, it's actually gonna shut your plug off automatically. And it's also a built-in surge protector. We do recommend though, that you add another surge protector in case the campground electricity is real dirty. Over here, this is the back driver's side um, storage compartment. And as you can see, there's a steel plate right inside there. That steel plate gets you right to your intake 
air filter. So your air comes in up here, comes down through here, gets funneled into the engine, but that is so much easier for you to change. You don't have to pay someone several hundred dollars to change that air filter. You can do it yourself with a few a couple of screwdrivers. On the back cap, as you can see, it's in excellent condition. There's no fading, there's no dulling, there's no excessive nicks and scratches. And I mean, I have to look really close to find any scratches. Over here in the back radiator area, you can check your brake fluid. You can, I mean, your, your not brake fluid, but you can check your transmission fluid and any other power steering fluid and all these things that you might need. You can check your, your oil and all of that. Uh, your coolant, your transmission fluid, all of those things. And as you come around the back, you can see it has a big 12-gallon suburban hot water heater. And tomorrow, once it thaws out a little bit, we're going to get this all opened up so you can see everything from the inside. Again, easy disconnect for your batteries over here. There's an easy disconnect on the other side. These are your chassis batteries. In this compartment down here is where you have your holding tanks. So you can, the tech can easily access this panel and get at those tanks if needed, and if any service was needed. But the only thing I see on the outside that stands out is this panel was put here to, so you could work on the refrigerator. And they, it must have fell off because at one point it was full body paint. And uh, so they replaced it with a solid cream white. And it does match the white of the camper pretty closely. It's really, really close. And if you had someone with a fancy uh, paintbrush, probably could match the other parts of the paint as well. But yeah, it doesn't stick out all that much. That, that's the worst thing, you know, as far as what's wrong with this. This camper does need a full cleaning inside and out. Uh, and it will come with that and it's going to show really well thanks for part one of the video and you'll see part two in a little bit